This episode of Soji Knows Best is brought to you by Audible. Hey, what's up, guys? Soji Knows Best here. Today, I'm here with my review of the Roku 2, which is a little box that's supposed to be able to stream all the video content and audio content that you want or could crave for from the internet to your TV at your home. So I want to see how this thing really performs. Actually, it's going to be worth it and actually how that stacks up against the Apple TV. So let's go to first take a look at the design and the hardware. All right, just to show you how small this thing is, I'm going to compare it to the Apple TV, which is a really small device. I would say the Roku 2 is a little bit thicker than the Apple TV, but as far as length and width-wise, it does take the cake as far as being the smallest in this type of category of products. And as far as the weight is concerned, the weight of the product, it is extremely light. Now, almost a little bit too light to have that type of cheap feeling, but it is lighter than most products in this category as well. Now on the back, you'll find the HDMI port and also an AV out, so you can hook this thing up to a standard definition or high definition TV. You'll also find an Ethernet port, which is exclusive to the Roku 2 XS, which is the higher end version of the Roku 2. They do offer two lower end versions, but I'll go over those details at the end of this video. And also on the back, you'll find a micro SD card slot, and on the right hand side of the device, you'll find a USB port. And those two things are going to be used if you want to share some of your photos or videos or any that that type of content on your TV. You can plug those things right into the Roku 2, and it'll show that right in your TV as well. Now the Roku 2 also does come with a remote control. Now this XS version, this controller is a motion based controller as well. So you can use it with motion controller games and things like that. But I'll go over that here in a second. But the controller itself is very light and the buttons are laid out nicely. So nothing really wrong with the remote control. Nothing really wrong with the design of this whole type of system itself. So the Roku 2, the controller, everything is very lightweight. Uh, it's very small, very compact, will fit anywhere. So really no, no bad thing to say about the design. All right, now let's going to take a look at the OS and the software that comes with the Roku 2 box and see exactly what do you get. Now, just taking a first glance at the home screen, it's a very simple layout. It has all the channels that you have downloaded in a very simple type of tile format and just using the D-pad going left and right, you just scroll through the different channels that you want to watch. Of course, it has a Netflix channel. It's probably going to be the most popular one since everybody has a Netflix account almost and likes to stream the movies to their uh, TV. You can use this box for that. It also does have a Hulu Plus channel, which most boxes don't have, or at least the Apple TV doesn't have. So you'll be able to watch the latest TV shows. Also has a UFC channel, which of course is my favorite channel on here. I'm a big UFC fan. Uh, so you can watch live pay-per-views as they happen right here on the Roku 2 box or live events. Also, you can watch recorded events or past events on this thing. Uh, it has a Twit channel, which I'm very, very big fan of the Twit network with Leo Laporte and all those guys over there. And also does have a Revision 3 channel, which of course you can see my ugly mug in this channel and watch my uh, Revision 3 videos right here on the Roku 2 box as well. And it also comes with Crackle, which is a free service where you can watch movies for free. The entire movie for free comes downloaded on the box as well. So it just has a plethora of different channels you can find from anything from Pandora and internet radio to games to, I mean, this really does have almost all the video content and audio content that's on the internet right here on this box in a very simple and easy format. Download the channel that you want, and now you can go ahead and enter that channel and watch all the content as your own leisure. So this is really, really cool uh, little system here. Now, the one thing I would say that I would want the, the UI just to be a little bit snappier, um, especially navigating through the home screen when I press the D-pad. I just want it just to be a little bit snappier, but overall, it's a pretty nice OS and a pretty nice um, layout there. And uh, it's very simple as far as just buying stuff and buying channels or buying games. Uh, you set up a four digit pin and then anytime you want to buy something just enter in that four digit pin and you're set to go you don't have to keep entering your credit card information anything like that and now i'm going to show you one of the features that the roku 2 xs has over the other two models of the roku 2 and that is the motion based gaming so the roku 2 does come with angry birds preloaded and already downloaded on your box and also the xs version of the roku 2 has a, a upgraded controller that has motion based software and hardware built into it so you can do games like angry birds in a different way that you probably have done before and it's not anything really just revolutionary with this tank i will say that just to begin with but i'm uh, playing angry burst with it is kind of fun uh use the controller kind of to swing it back and then release it or press the uh, a button and it will go ahead and sling the bird at the the pigs of course uh and that's pretty much the gist of it um so i mean it is it does add a, a different element to angry birds i mean it's nothing again revolutionary but it is one extra benefit to it and now it's going to take a look at the pricing configuration that you can give this roku 2 so just take a look here the version i've been reviewing this video is the roku 2 xs version this costs 99 dollars now I think the most popular version though is going to be the one right here in the middle. This is the XD version, which gets everything um, that the uh, higher end version gets, but it doesn't get the uh, it doesn't get the enhanced remote control for motion gaming, which I don't think a lot of people may be into anyway. And also, it doesn't come with Angry Birds, of course. It doesn't come with the Ethernet port. Most people are probably going to be using wireless. Also, too, it doesn't come with the USB port, which again I don't think most people are going to be worried about either. So this one is twenty dollars cheaper than the Roku 2 XS version that I'm reviewing now. So this one costs eighty dollars. I think that's going to be the most popular option. And then the lower end 
version gets everything that the XD version gets, but it doesn't play uh, the video in 1080p. So that's the only difference between that one and the one right there in the middle. But that starts at $60. It uh, doesn't come with free shipping, though. So that's one thing to know is, but that does start at $60. So I just think it's a really good thing that you do have some options to choose from. You have three different versions of this box, and uh, I think that most people will be fine with just the middle of the road or the bottom line uh, Roku 2 HD. So I just love the fact that you have different price points for everybody out there. So now on to my overall opinion about this Roku 2 box. I will say it does a really, really good job at um, competing against all the other competitors in this market space by offering the most content. I mean, this thing has everything you can choose from, any type of video or audio content from the internet that you're looking for. You'll be able to find this on this box itself. Now, as far as the overall OS, it's not as polished as you'll find with something like the Apple TV. But again, I just think the quantity of content uh, that you can get with this thing is just excellent, excellent, excellent. Pause. I real quick almost forgot to talk about the video quality and the audio quality. Um, the Roku 2 box for some channels can get 1080p video and uh, most of the other channels will be able to get you 720p HD video and it does look really good. Um, the audio quality, again, it's not Blu-ray type of audio quality, but it will be able to satisfy most people. And all the video clips I've been showing you in this review video have all been standard definition just for the sake of me having to record. Uh, the content off of my Roku 2 box on my PVR, yada, yada, yada. But overall, I think the video quality and the audio quality, I think everybody would be satisfied with. But anyway, guys, before we head out here, guys, I'm going to take one last look at our sponsor for this video, and that is Audible. Audible.com is the leading provider of downloadable digital audiobooks and spoken word entertainment. Audible has over 75,000 titles to choose from to be downloaded to your iPod or MP3 player and played back anywhere, anytime. Choose from books in every genre, including science fiction, thrillers, drama, comedy, business, history, and more. Go to audiblepodcast.com forward slash soldier to get a free audiobook download of your choice when you sign up today. Again, go to audiblepodcast.com forward slash soldier for your free audiobook. All right, guys, again, thanks for watching this video. Please leave a comment down below about what you think about this Roku 2 box. And thanks for watching, guys, and I will catch you later. Peace.